Hey tips, what's up? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I am doing today, I'm going to talk to you guys and girls basically about BIOS update. Be very careful when you do a BIOS update on any of your machines, laptops, desktops, any computer. Because if you mess up the BIOS, your motherboard is basically dead but be very careful when you do this kind of stuff with your machine basically i updated the bios on this machine uh yesterday and it went pretty smoothly uh should i say but how do you get to the bios and why you want to update it well you go to gigabytes website you look up your model of the board and you see if it's a newer version of the BIOS update. But here's the other thing you're gonna need. You're going to need a flash drive. You plug this into the motherboard. Do not plug it into the front of the computer because this needs to go towards the back. But this machine here, or the uh, motherboard, has two BIOS chips, basically. It has a main BIOS, and it has a backup BIOS. But please do yourself a favor, understand what the BIOS does, and also watch a lot of YouTube videos before you start messing around with the BIOS on your motherboard. But let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Let's have some fun. But I'm not going to update my board because I already did. But I'm going to show you what the version is on my uh, computer. To all my fans, this is not a how-to video to update your BIOS on your motherboard. I'm just basically showing you what my BIOS look like on my desktop computer. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. But basically, this is the BIOS on my Gigabyte motherboard, and it's very nice, and you can understand a lot of things here as well. But basically, this is my main machine I built of 2018, but bought all the parts last year in 2017, but that's all good. But you're going to say, Chris, how do you check the version of the BIOS? First of all, go right here. Okay, this will tell you the BIOS. Okay, you basically kind of scan this way, and there is the new BIOS uh, basically, and there is my make and model of my motherboard. But basically, we got all sorts of interesting settings and stuff you can change as well. But basically, it's another trick you can also go hit F2. And this is something else you can also look here. Now, of course, my CPU is a little bit hot today, but that's not too bad. But that's okay. This just tells you all sorts of interesting stuff as well. But alright, I'm going to show you how to get into the second way to look for the BIOS. Hey, Chris. How do you check the BIOS instead of going into the BIOS on your machine when you're already fully booted up into Windows? Basically, I'm going to show you how that is done. Let's go have some fun and show you what I mean. All right, if your computer is fully booted up like this, guys and girls, but basically I'm going to show you a known way to look for the BIOS, uh, basically, on Windows 10. Go into your control panel, okay. Go over here to the top one. Okay, now go down here towards the bottom. Okay, like right here. Click that. And this will also give you a lot of information about your Windows, your BIOS, and everything on your computer. But what are we looking for? Right down here. 
BIOS, version, and date. See it? Okay, like that. Now, again, here is my processor. My processor is right on top, uh, basically. And this is the version of my Windows I'm using as well. And that's the make and model of my computer. But let's go ahead and close out of all of these, uh, basically. And that's another that one thing you can also check as well. Go to Gigabyte's website, go to the internet, uh, basically. And you choose what operating system you look for. Okay. Scroll down. Go to BIOS. Okay. These are all the different versions of BIOS you can also use. But the one I'm using, it's right there. There you go. Basically, for everybody who don't quite understand tech and computers and basically motherboards, you're going to say, Chris, how can you update the BIOS? You just have to do it on your own. I'm not going to show you how to do it. Because if you mess up the board, that's not going to be on me. That'll be on you. Not being rude, just saying. But even if I do the BIOS update on this machine, Whose fault would it be? None of you guys' fault. Be my fault because I messed up my uh, board. But luckily, this Gigabyte board has two BIOS chips. A main and a backup one. But basically, let's go ahead and download the BIOS uh, on the internet. And basically, let's save it to the computer. But I'm not going to show you how to do any of the updates on this machine because I already did the updates yesterday. But basically here's our thing right here. Tubes basically. Just kind of pin them down a little bit and basically you can kind of read those if you want. And what you want to do is you just hit the little guy there and it's going to download down on the bottom. And we're not going to worry too much about what's in here. Go back to your computer. And you go into your download. Now remember it's in a zip file. The only thing you got to do is make sure you uh, distract it all. This is your BIOS update right here. Now make sure the flash drive is also installed, but still a nice way to update it, but not going to show you how to do that. Now if you want to update your BIOS on your computer, you can look it up on Google, you can also look it up on YouTube to see what own types of videos we have for they can help you to update your BIOS. But basically, the reason why I updated my BIOS yesterday because it was a newer version of the BIOS for this motherboard. Now, I know some of you are going to say, Chris, you should have done the BIOS update and showed us how to update the BIOS on this board. Now, let me just explain. Every motherboard out there today is all different. Okay, because I don't know about all those motherboards, how the actual update with the BIOS. But this Gigabyte uh, board, it's very simple to update the BIOS on it. But basically, most uh, motherboards may have a different way to update the BIOS on the computer's motherboard itself. But remember, not most computers have two BIOS chips. Most motherboards only have one. This one over here has two. It has the main and it also has a backup one. But just do yourself again a favor. Please understand it and please be careful when you decide to do the update of the BIOS on your machine. 
I don't want you all coming back to me. It's like, Chris, my board doesn't work and stuff like that. It's like, it's not posting. It's not doing this, it's not doing that. Well, sadly, you might have to send it back to the actual company or buy a whole new board. But all right, you guys and girls, that's the this channel. Please hit that subscribe button. Leave a awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And have a nice day. Catch you later.